there is a cube. You are standing at one corner of the cube, and you want to get to the other end as your destination. In this cube, you can only move in single steps of right, up, and forward. The question is, how many unique paths can you take? Now, after some time getting frustrated, maybe you've never seen this question before, you're nervous, you're panicking, the interviewer looks impatient, you're stuck. So you say, I'm stuck. I'm going to try dropping the dimension of the problem. The interviewer goes, hmm, and then nods his head. Maybe a little higher, two-dimensional perhaps. Let's try reducing this to a 2D sub-problem instead. And let's try looking at the problem from one side of the cube. Specifically, this side of the cube. So we're looking at it from this direction. Reconsider the problem now. You can only move in single steps of right and up. How many unique paths are there for you to go to the destination? Let's start by describing in terms of right and up moves. The destination in relation to where you are. The destination is three right moves and three up moves away. And more importantly, regardless of the path taken, it is always going to be three right and three up moves. Don't believe me? Consider some of the following paths. Here, here we have two right moves, two up moves, one right move, and then one up move. Three rights and three ups. How about another? One up move, one right move, two up moves, and then two right moves. Once again, three rights and three ups. Let's try one more. Three rights, followed by three ups. Of course, three rights and three ups. And the same repeats for all the other paths. Mm, this looks promising. So the number of paths is therefore the number of ways to arrange three right and three up moves. Hence, three plus three factorial. 6 factorial. And why 6 factorial? Well, to arrange 6 moves, or 6 objects, or 6 options. We first have 6 options. We choose 1, then we have 5. We choose 1, then we have 4. Then we have 3, then we have 2, then we have 1. Hence, the number of paths is just the product of all the options at each step. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Hence, 6 factorial. And 6 factorial is equal to 720. Interviewer says, good job on trying to drop the dimension of the problem. But, that's wrong. Oh. Look, I get it. Preparing for quantitative views is tiring, doing hours of practice questions. So why not take a break after this question to learn about my recent experience interviewing in London so you don't repeat any of my mistakes by following the link on the top right. Now back to the question. Why is it wrong though? Well, let's look at one path in particular. Three rights followed by three ups. By taking 6 factorial, it is implied that all 6 options, each of the R and U, are unique. But are they? Let's number each of the right and up moves here. R1, R2, R3, U1, U2, U3. Here are some possible orderings of the right moves. Do you think any of these paths are actually different? R1 followed by R2 by R3, or R1 followed by R3, then R2, or R2 followed by R1, then R3. Do they represent a path different from the one that's been drawn? No, each of the right moves here are exactly the same. Hence, the various permutations of the three right moves, given the same permutation of the U moves on the right, all refer to the same identical path. The value of 720 obtained by taking 6 factorial has counted these extra identical paths. How do we account for these additional paths? For the given arrangement, assuming the up moves don't change, how many permutations of the three right moves do we have? Well, that would just be the number of ways to permute the three R's, which is just three factorial, which is six. To condense these six paths into one, we simply divide the number of paths by the number of ways that R can be arranged. Six divided by three factorial, which is six divided by six, which is equals to one. These six paths refer to the same identical one path and are hence counted as 1. 
And of course, the same goes for the up moves as well, for any other, uh, any other arrangement of it. Going back to the sub problem, we can see now that instead of the number of paths being the number of ways to arrange three R and three up moves, the number of paths is the permutation of six objects where there are two items that repeat, that each repeat three times. Hence, the number of paths is six factorial divided by three factorial divided by three factorial, which is equals to 20, giving us 20 paths. Finally, going back to our original three-dimensional problem, we have three moves, right, up, and forward. Our destination is located three right, three ups, and three forward moves away from us. Hence, the number of paths is the permutation of nine objects, where there are three items that each repeat three times. Number of unique paths is equal to nine factorial divided by three factorial divided by 3 factorial, and divided by 3 factorial. Bada bing bada boom, 1680. The interviewer says good. For the next question, click the video on the right.